All right, so let's get back to retopoing this and let's just kind of start from right here. I'm gonna grab these right here. Let's see. I push these back and then extrude them out so that I make these shapes that I want. There we go. I'm just gonna start grabbing them one by one. Let's say around here is where I want that at the end and where I want this to end would be around here. And let's say here is where I'd like this piece to kind of end. Yeah, right around there should be fine. And then let's connect these pieces right here. Extrude them out. And then scale it on the x-axis with zero. Let Blender run really quick. And then push these in. All right. There we go. And with that, we can do here, actually push these forward. So then what we can do with this, actually establish a little cut right here. So let's go into this piece, push it forward even more, along with this one right here. Let's just realign this part really quick because it's kind of Stepping into the other side. Now let's see. From right here, what we can do is start by pushing this part in. Right there is pretty good. There we go. And then from here, let's grab these two, extrude them in, merge these two together. Let's put it right around there. I'm gonna bring this further to that little edge corner. And this one, about the same. Let's do the same with this one as well. So now, when we push this over here, it just has a better time kind of realigning to what we need. And now Blender is telling me to wait, so I'm just gonna wait. <laughs> and from here, push this in a little bit, and then let's extrude this out and start making the shape that we want for this little extrusion area we have. There we go. And slowly but surely, just making our pieces. There we go. I think I need to add one right there. And let's see. I'm starting to think I might need another piece right here. But we'll get back to that in a second. I'm just kind of looking at it and trying to analyze what we need. 
So let's go over here. Let's take a look. You know what? Yeah, I think we're going to need to. The more I look at it, I think that it needs to have just a bit more supporting loops. There we go. Just clean that up really quick. There we go. And let's come in here and then let's extrude these out. And actually, you know what? Let's bridge these right here. Let's bridge them. Press F. The same over here. Grab all these right here. Press F. Connect these pads right here. And I think with this, what we can do, hmm, let's see. Let's just make a cut around here. Yeah, let's just do that. So we can do with this right here. This is kind of cut in like so. Like that, there we go. And then let's cut in again right here. Now let's do the same for the other side. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. So with this one selected, I'm gonna come over here, kind of just connect it to around there. All right. Let's connect this right here. And let's just let Blender run really quick. All right. There we go. And last but not least, let's grab these right here, extrude them up. Actually, let's do the same thing, but let's turn off the snapping because it's going to be kind of hard to do this right the first time. Delete these. And then let's turn on snapping this time. Let's just kind of align this so we can start putting things together. Let's see, there we go. There we go. Slowly kind of just taking my time with this. All right, that piece is a little too far out. There we go. We'll push these in. All 
All right, let's grab these right here, push them actually further more in here. Yeah, let's put it around there. And let's leave that around there. We can push these actually a little further up higher. All right, that looks pretty good. Then I'll do the same thing with this part right here. I'm gonna turn off the snapping and extrude up. And then turn on the snapping again. And just kind of align as best as I can to these pieces right here. All right, there we go. All right. That looks pretty good. And then from here, what we can do just kind of cut in let me wait for blender to kind of catch up first and press escape that's not the kind of cut we wanted so that one right here 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 it's gonna make my way around this sphere and let's just kind of make our space right here. I think with this, what we can do, connect the paths right here, and then kind of cut in, and then start kind of pushing this out. So now what we can do is add a loop right here, Do the same on this side. Let's just bring these guys in. There we go. Have these guys in until they merge. There we go. All right. Let me just dissolve these really quick, see how that looks. Eh, it's fine. All right, so now we just need to kind of connect some pieces together, some paths together. And I'm thinking we can just kind of connect them to certain points. So that then those points in turn connect to other points on the edges. Let me just press escape. I'm gonna start my cuts. So let's go here. Let's go around there and cut that in. So then we have a little bit of a better workflow. Connect this part over here. Actually, now that we have that, we can dissolve this piece right here. We have some quads going on, so that works out. Connect these paths right here. And I think here we can connect these, like so. Do the same over on this side. These we can connect like so. And I can connect these right here. 
And I think that kind of covers the spacing right there. So I'm going to go over here really quick and just kind of make a path right here to kind of connect this side. Actually, not merge last. We need to make a little gap here. And let's just make an imaginary one for right now. We'll just delete it in a second. We're going to use it to kind of close this gap off really quick. Let's bridge these two. Let's bridge these two. And let's just kind of align these a little better. And I think that's good. Let's wait for Blender really quick. All right, there we go. And let's get back to adding more detail over here. And I think what we can do with this part right here is just kind of close it off. Let's put it to around there. There we go. All right, let's take a look at this side. I think what we can do here is just extrude the same way we were doing with the other piece just now. Yeah, let's just push it to over here. There we go. And let's see if we can't clean this up really quick. All right, that looks good. Alright, that's good. Alright, so with that, I think what we can do here, add a support loop right around there. Not a support loop, just an extra one to kind of make this kind of nice looking curve. And then from here what I'm going to do is extrude out. And then these pieces, I'm really thinking just kind of leaving them flat. So I'm just going to bridge these right here. And then I'm going to turn off the snapping. Push this in. There we go. And then just kind of push this a little further in. Not fully flat, but just so that it kind of covers a little bit of the bulb right there. And then this one right here, honestly, let's do that. And then probably push this actually a little further out. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then we'll go over here and start connecting some of these paths as well. So let's go over here, connect these right here. Let's start connecting these over here as well. Bring these here, merge that. And then with these, let's see, what can I do with this one? Let's extrude this really quick, just kind of see where we're going. 
I'll just merge this right here. And then let this kind of be the line right there. And then this will kind of need to have a support loop. So I'm thinking what we can do with this. Kind of just make this right here align. And then dissolve this one, connect the paths right here. Four, one, two, three, four. That works. So, with that done, we can come over here really quick, merge right here, like so, bring this in, and then we can start kind of S snapping these. I'll merge these right here. There we go. And then let's see. All right. If anything right here, we could probably just add an extra loop. Just so we can kind of help with the overall shape of this piece. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Now let's wait for Blender to catch up with me. There we go. And then let's just come in here and let's add another cut. Right around here. Let's add one here as well. Resolve that edge. And then I think with this one, we can kind of connect back here. And then in fact, we can even dissolve this one. Dissolve this edge right here. Now let's just kind of fix this really quick. I'm gonna connect the loop right here. There we go. So that just kind of help fix the loops right here that we have. It's looking better. There we go. And then from here, what we can start doing is extruding these pieces out. Let's see. I want to bring this up a little bit to around here. Bring this up as well. Let me bring these over here. All right, and then let's see. Let's extrude this piece. Thank you. 
Grab this one, extrude it in. There we go. All right, that's pretty good. Let's see, what can we do with this piece right here? I think we can connect these right here to the center. And then right here, what we can do is just kind of cut in. Also put these to the center. And then just kind of fill this in. There we go. And then with these right here, an extrude. And I'll connect this vertice right here to the one down there. Start aligning these up. With that done, let's see, that looks pretty good. Let's just wait for Blender really quick. All right, so with these, I'm going to just start extruding out. Like so. Let me start kind of choosing the pieces I want. And I'll put that around there. There we go. There we go. And then I think right here, I can actually add an extra loop just so that the little area right here doesn't look a little too awkward. Then I'll use the space tool in loop tools. There we go. There we go. And then let's see, right here, I think I can add a loop, let's say like around there, and bring these down. Bring these over here. Let's see. Let's just kind of bridge those right there. And let's just start adding some loops. So I'll put one right here. Another one. Let me give Blender a second. And then another one down here as well. There we go. And then one last one just to kind of close it out. There we go. So it has a pretty good shape of the plane. At least that fin right there. From here, what we can do, I think we could just extrude these. And start kind of just placing them where we want them. This one, I think we can kind of make that right there. And start shaping out this piece. Bring that right there. I'm going to add another loop.
Let me delete this really quick because we don't actually need that one. All right. Hmm. See what we can do here. Let's cut right here. And then cut right here. I don't think we need to actually cut the whole thing off, but let me just double check. Yeah, I don't think we actually need to cut the whole thing off. We can just kind of cut from right here and then connect the pieces at these corners right here. There we go. And then I'm going to just merge by connecting these pieces right here. All right. And then let me just kind of fill out the shape right here at the corner. that done, I'm just going to extrude these out. I'm going to, let's see, I'll just merge this right there. We can worry about that later. I'm going to scale this on the x-axis, like so. Let me try that one more time. There we go. There we go. All right. Merge these right here. Give Blender a second. All right, and then here what we can do is extrude this in. Merge those right there. Same right there. Let's do the bottom part as well. Merge those there. Now let's see. Merge these. I thought it's pretty good. And here, what we can do is kind of line this a little better to there. And from here, push this up. And then bridge, not bridge, but let's extrude these out. There we go. 
Let's kind of push them over to the corners. Do the same for these. Merge these two right here and continue with the rest. All right. So let's kind of clean this up here. And I think to do that, I'm going to just kind of make a cut right here and then put that inside. So that we can merge these two right here and then bring this further in. There we go. And then from here, through this, merge that there. Now I can collect all these right here and merge into a face. This I can merge over to that piece right there. I do the same with this piece right here. And I just gotta wait for Blender. All right, and then let's go in here. Let's extrude this up. Merge that right there. Merge these right there. And then there we go. So there we go. So we basically merged all the pieces there. So you can do a little fixing right here, but we'll get to that after we kind of model this part in. So in the next video, we'll finish up with the flight deck right here and then clean up that area along with doing the retopo of the plane right here, the blades.